Okay, hello everyone and welcome to another video with English with Nasrin. And today I'm going to be talking about an amazing resource that you could use for online or offline teaching, of course. It's a super cool website that enables you to create interactive presentations with your students. It's called mentimeter.com and all you need to do is sign up. So let's walk you through the process. Once you create an account, you are required to fill in this uh, section where it asks you why you are using Mentimeter for what purpose. Uh, and of course, for me, I'm a teacher, so my selection is educational for educational reasons. Then you select the free features of using Mentimeter and you would see that it has a variety of things that you could work with also without purchasing it. Welcome to Mentimeter. This short video will show you how to create your first interactive presentation. He here, this is your home view. Here you can see an overview of all the presentations you have prepared. What you need to do is select new presentation and then welcome to the edit view. This is where you create your presentation. On the right hand side, you will see all the different question types and quick slide layouts you can use. So let me walk you through the presentation I've prepared, of course, interactive presentation. For example, the first slide here, I asked my students to write three adjectives that describe you. That means that each student has to type in three words and describe themselves. The next slide here is write three sentences about yourself. You can include things you like or your hobbies, for example, or anything else you would like to share with your classmates. Okay, and I get to choose how I want the answers to be displayed. Uh, and then the next question is, do you have questions? My students actually get to type in questions and ask, for example, questions like, will we be learning online? Are we going to uh, go to school or anything else? Because I think all of these, they, they on the first day, they have a lot of questions. So here, for example, another question is, what is your favorite subject? And this is, of course, multiple choice. Now, this is another multiple choice question. What indoor activity did you mostly enjoy during the holiday? Now, here, if you want to use multiple choice and you do not have one correct answer, for example, like this question, where any answer is accurate and correct, then you need to make sure you uh, click on the tick with green and make sure that they are all correct answers. Another uh, slide is when I grow up, I want to be a or an, and the students type in their answers of what they would like to be. Okay, and I'll show you in a minute how you're going to share all of these slides with one click with your students. Okay, the next um, slide is they have to react to a picture, for example, with a small question here. And as you can see, the reactions here is um, that they could either click on the heart, for example, or like or dislike or um, a, other uh, things as well. Another question is, uh, what do you want your teacher to know about you? If they would like to add uh, certain information, like for example, uh, uh, with this, I would know more about my students, what kind of learners they are, uh, what they prefer and how they prefer to learn. And then I would end with this very short quote where I say, always remember that good, better, best. Uh, and then make sure they never rest, of course, until the better is best. Now, if I want to share my work, I just click on share and then I copy the link and I could send it to my students if I'm using, for example, a Zoom lesson or through WhatsApp uh, or any other uh, medium that I'm using for an online lesson. Or I could ask them to go to mentimeter.com uh, and enter using this code that I just marked here. So this is the code, the code number they need to join in with. So they type in Mentimeter join through Google and then they'll get to this uh, web space and enter the code and then they would be able to enter. So this is a visual of what your students would actually get to see. Okay, 
So I'm going to, this is through uh, the teacher space and this is through the student space. So here is what the students see. Now they get to answer this question. For example, this is the first question where they get to type three different adjectives that describe them. Uh, here I chose, for example, positive and let's think of another two adjectives, funny and so on that describe me. And then once I'm done, I get to move on to the next question or wait until the teacher gives me permission and do it with my classroom. Now, uh, this is, again, I go back to the teacher uh, uh, web page and here I move on to the next question. So when I go back to Mentimeter join where the students are uh, actually working from, this is what they would see the next slide and every time they enter an answer it would be automatically saved okay here for example the next slide is write three sentences about yourself you can include things you like your hobbies or anything else you would like to share with your classmates okay so this is another slide and something else that my students could um type and add and then the next slide is do you have a question or do you have questions and my students get to type in any questions they would like to ask me as a teacher for example will we only learn online uh, might be a question that one of my students would like to ask and uh, so on or maybe other questions about for example the uh, schedule of the day the timing when the lesson ends when the lesson starts and and all these kind of things that, you know, students might want to ask. Then another question is, for example, where they get to see uh, also the answers uh, they chose and compare what, you know, others wrote as well. So, for example, what indoor activity did you mostly enjoy during the holiday? For example, playing on my smartphone or playing on my smartphone devices, watching TV, play with my siblings, uh, help with the house course. Uh, reading something else and of course they all get to see what each and every one uh, chose and over here you could see similarities and differences between the students which I think is kind of nice. For the next slide I chose an image for example as you could see here and um, beneath it I wrote how do you feel about starting school this year. Now students can interact and react to this uh, question and picture by clicking on the symbols below and you would automatically see how many voted on the heart shape or uh, icon or have questions or like or dislike or any other uh, emoji uh, that they would like to uh, reflect and talk about and here you can stop and share with each other uh, through a group discussion uh, the results of what they actually uh, see in front of them and for the next slide I chose for example what do you want your teacher to know about you it could be something personal it could be uh, something in general, anything you want your teacher to know about you. For example, if you really um, like sports, you're really into uh, animals, you're really into science, you really enjoy math, um, you like to draw anything that you think your teacher should know about you. And I think this is an excellent question that we need to ask as teachers to our students because it does give us insight and information about uh, the different learning styles we have amongst our students and it does really help when we plan uh, lessons to make them you know more motivating interesting and hopefully fun for our students and in the final slide i end with a quote that i always like to start my school year with when it where it says always remember good better best never let them rest until the better is best and i usually talk to my students about how we can make the good best or the better best and that involves of course hard work and dedication and many other things that you could obviously um, shed light on to with your learners and this is it basically this is the uh, back to school activity that I'm considering to do with my upper grade levels and as you could see once I'm done I click on presentation that I if I go back to my home page and if I want to uh, show my students the answers that they all typed and they all uh, finished then I get to share uh, the results and the uh, uh, work of the students and if I scroll down here you would see these are the words that were typed by the students 
Uh, and if I scroll even further, you would see other things that were, you know, submitted by students. And here you can stop um, on certain sections and engage your students in further discussions and just get to really know them. So this might take more than one lesson, but I think it's really worth it because you really get to know your students. If you found this video interesting, make sure you follow me on Facebook or you subscribe to my YouTube channel, English with Nasrin. All the best!